what's going on guys welcome back to the channel christopher mini weather here with deadstock barbershop and today i have a quick video for you guys some of you guys ask me what kind of software do i use to edit my videos or photos or anything like that i don't use adobe products at all currently everything i do is through final cut final cut pro is an app native to the apple software so you can only get this app if you have apple products if you don't have it if you have a pc i'm sorry this tip right here is only for Final Cut Pro. So whenever I'm uploading my photos, sometimes you notice that there's something that needs to be Photoshopped out. The reason I said Photoshopped is because Photoshop is an app, right? But that term has become synonymous with editing something out of a photo or duplicating or whatever you're trying to do to it. And so in this tip today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to use Final Cut Pro to Photoshop something out of your picture that you don't want and I'll hop into it now so jumping straight into it this is what I've been working on yesterday I shot Christmas photos here at the house for me and my family but one thing I want you guys to see is that there's something on the floor there's a couple spots on the floor I told my son to get everything up off the floor, but he didn't do it. We are going to zoom in so you guys can see it. Zoom in about 100%. Scroll down. And we have these two spots right here. I don't want those in the photo at all, so I'm going to edit them out. So what you do is you come over here to the Effects tab, and you're going to come down to the search and type in draw because we're taking out we're going to add a draw mask into it so once you have that up over here we're going to come over here to this and hit option hold down the option key and drag up so what that did was give us a duplicate copy of this image and this is where we're going to add the draw mask to it so i'm going to go back over here and i'm going to draw my draw drag my draw mask over onto the top of that photo. So now what that gives me the ability to do is draw this area because I'm gonna cover this up with a duplicate that I'm taking from over here. So I'll do that, click one point there, click another point here. We'll go another point here. We're gonna to try to make sure it's long enough to cover both of those spots here. And we'll connect it connected dots right there I'll bring this side down just a little bit all right so once we do that you hit transform right here and watch as I drag so I'll pull it up so you guys can kind of see that's the image that we now have and we're going to use that to cover this up so we're bringing it over here looks good to me what we can do is we can feather the image a little bit so we can cover it up to where it doesn't show and it kind of smooths it out for us and now that we're done with that we can set the reset the ratio click on this image down here and now you can see that there is nothing in this picture at all we'll zoom back in so you guys can get a better look yeah, so our duplicate, it was right here. It's covered up. It's good enough. We're not selling these photos. These are strictly for family purposes. So yeah, editing was as simple as that. You know, I was able to crop those out, get that image covered up and ready to be sent out to the family. I hope you guys enjoyed that tip. This has been Vlogmas Day 13. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.